Back in 2020, we got a game called Super Mario 3D All-Stars, which came with Super Mario 64, Super Mario Sunshine, and Super Mario Galaxy. This game took the three classics and retextured everything into HD, which made playing them even more enjoyable. This also allowed people who didn't get the chance to play them when they first launched the chance to finally play them. This was kind of a big deal, and I'm still sad we didn't get to see Super Mario Galaxy 2 on there as well, but that's for another video. Today, I will be talking about a game that I personally want to see be made, and that is Mario Kart All-Stars. Now, I made a video back in January about this, but it wasn't a great video, so yeah, I kind of did this already, but I have a couple new ideas I'd like to add, and I want to make this a better video. The first thing that we need to talk about is what games should be added. Personally, I think that there are three games that have to make it no matter what, and those are Mario Kart 64, Mario Kart Double Dash, and Mario Kart Wii. Each of these games are amazing and so much fun, and while a lot of people have probably played Mario Kart Wii, less people have played Mario Kart Double Dash or Mario Kart 64. Now I know what you're thinking, isn't Mario Kart 64 technically on Switch with the online expansion pass? And while the answer to that is yes, Mario Kart 64 would theoretically have everything retextured to look slightly better in a Mario Kart All-Stars game. This would mean that in order to play the original, you would still technically need the online expansion pass or the original N64 with a copy of the game. There are of course other ways to play it, but we don't talk about them on this channel. Basically what I'm saying is that the Mario Kart 64 with the online pass would be different from Mario Kart 64 in a Mario Kart All-Stars game. Then there is Mario Kart Double Dash, which not many people have played. To my knowledge, the only legal way to play this is with an original disc, and the disc is 54 US dollars on eBay. Not a lot of people are going to want to spend that much on a used game and go through the trouble of obtaining a GameCube or the version of the Wii that lets you play GameCube games. Plus, after you get a retro console like that, all the cords are going to get tangled around. Trust me, I would know. Not everyone wants to deal with it, so it would be much easier for them to be able to buy a Switch game that lets them play it on a modern console. One that only has one HDMI cord that can go straight in most modern TVs and monitors without a converter that has to be plugged into the wall. My point is, you're going to have a very difficult time setting everything up. Plus, if you're going to play a game like Mario Kart Wii, you're most likely going to need to change the batteries once a week. And that can get annoying too, especially when playing with friends. Now you gotta have 8 AA batteries, and you'll have to worry about them running out in the middle of the game, unless you use GameCube controllers. All the Mario Kart games would be easier to play and obtain if you could just buy them in a collection. One thing that I think that needs to be added is online play. Mario Kart Wii's online servers were removed in 2014, and now there is no official way to play it online. In Mario Kart All-Stars, Nintendo should just bring it back. They should also add an online mode to Mario Kart 64 and Mario Kart Double Dash. This would make playing these games more fun. Now I know I have only talked about the console Mario Kart so far, but I also think it would be cool if Nintendo added Mario Kart DS and Mario Kart 7 to the Mario Kart All-Stars. Now I know that it might be hard to add these games since the DS and 3DS have two screens that display different images. My only solution to this problem is take out the bottom screen, we don't need it. Yeah, it is very useful and a good part of the actual game, but you could still play the game fine without seeing the bottom screen. I'm not sure if it would be easy to retexture everything into HD though. Most likely if these games are added... There's just going to be an image of a DS 3DS on the screen, and you'll be able to see both screens that way. Anyway, that's pretty much it for this video. Thanks for watching. Please leave a like and subscribe to the channel. I make very dope gaming content. Peace out.